Okay, so let's start with skin preparation. I'm using Ampure Centella Asiatica Face Toner to hydrate and soothe my face. A well-prepared and moisturized skin will make the sunscreen and makeup application way better. By the way, I'm just gently patting the toner onto my face. Next, I'm using Something Game Changer Eye Concentrate Gel to hydrate and prepare my eyes. And the last step for my skin preparation is sunscreen. I'm using Acne CV Tint SPF 35 PA++++. Sunscreen is very important so do not skip this step. This product has a tint of skin color but seriously, it barely covers anything. For my lips, I'm using Amina Lip Mask to prep my lips for the intense red matte lipstick later on. Now, let's start the makeup. I'm using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in number 120 aka Light. I'm applying it on areas that have acne scars. I waited for about 2-3 minutes before blending it out so it has more coverage. To set the concealer, I'm using Marks Active Beauty Powder in shade Invisible. I pour some of the powder on its lid, then I dip my powder puff into it. But before I apply it on my face, I tap the powder puff on the back of my hand to remove the excess powder since my under eye will crease like crazy if I add a lot of powder. I'm just setting areas that I put concealer on, so not my whole face cause the sunscreen already have a matte powder finish and I don't want my face to look very powdery. Thank you. 
Then I dust off those excess powder one more time with my powder brush. For blush, I'm using Pixie Twin Blush in number 4 aka Neon Orange. I'm using cream blush because it looks more natural. And this particular color looks like I'm just naturally rosy, which is good. Also, I'm applying this blush with a cushion puff because I found that it looks less patchy and I have more control if I'm applying it with a cushion puff. I'm just tapping it onto my cheek and my nose. I only apply a little bit on my nose because I want to look naturally rosy, not drunk. I'm using Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in shade Precious Petals to add a little bit of the natural glow look on my face. I'm just tapping my ring finger onto the product and gently apply it on my cheekbone, nose, and my cupid's bow. For eyebrows, I'm just brushing them with a spoolie so they are more neat. And now, we're moving on to the eye proportion. For today's video, I'm using Morphe X James Charles The Artistry Palette. I'm applying Punch Me, which is this light brown color all over my crease. Then I apply No Beans, which is a beautiful chocolate color on my upper lash line. I also bring it out so I can create a very subtle and soft lifted eye effect later on. Then, I blend out no beans with a clean blending brush. For my lower lash line, I'm using Punch Me since I want to add a soft color. For mascara, I'm using Maybelline Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara. I apply a generous amount of it so my eyelashes are more visible and make my eyes look more open. Y'all see the differences? Ladies and gentlemen, that's the power of good mascara. 
Next, I'm using Pixie Aqua Beauty Protecting Mist to make my base look more natural and glowy. Before I use the lipstick, I'm wiping off my lip mask with the tissue. And finally, last but not least, a classic but iconic red lipstick to finish off this French makeup look. I'm using Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in number 220 or Ambitious. Since this product has super stay ability, I have to be careful when I'm lining my lips. Cause if I'm not being careful, there are chances that I will look like Miranda Sings. Yeah. By the way, after lining my lips, I fill it out a little bit, then tap it with my ring finger to blend it out. And there you go everyone, a French makeup look. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can use my affiliate links in the description box if you want to purchase any of the products that I use in this makeup look. So that's it and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye bye!